uh, to all of you guys watching this there, right? Now, I've been in Dubai for a while now, a little bit more than a month. Um, I use a lot of social media, right? Personally, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. And there was this one place in particular that I got to tell you that you guys did a good job with your TikTok ads. The sponsored ad popped up. Um, it, it had my attention and I did go there. Now, that was great. That was done right. However, there is still a lot more that can be done. All right. Now, I was trying to click onto your page to see, to go see more videos. That's where there was nothing more. All right. It directly goes to a landing page. Now, that's great. I mean, everyone can do that. That's the default style of working where you can run content and that goes to a landing page. Cool. But you know what? The moment you have the attention of the person who is watching on the other side, it would be really amazing if you can make them see more content. This is where content marketing is powerful. All right. We say this not marketing. We call this content marketing. Right. These two words go together. We say content marketing. You know why? You run content and you make them see more content. And then that's where the magic happens. You show them more and the people keep scrolling. Oh, right. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. More property. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ah, this one, not my style. This one, not my style. Oh, this one. Wow. Maybe I should call them. Okay. You gain the attention of the person who is looking at this and you nail it there. And from there, they might go to the landing page. From there, they might call you directly, inbox you. A lot of things can happen. Now, that's the part that was missing in the strategy, I felt personally. And I believe this case because from 2012, you know, I've been working on Facebook ads. We've spent uh, so much. Like in the last two years alone, we've spent about $300 on a particular product of ours. Like you've got to understand, we're not a big scale company where you can say, hey, this is not millions. What are you talking about? Yeah, of course, no millions. But in one product of ours, we've spent that much. We will show you how much we've been able to gain from that. And the more content you have, the strategy is more powerful because now you give your, your, your client more details. Don't give everything, but definitely give more substance. All right. So if I were there to help you guys, one of the things that I would do is uh, we would definitely strongly suggest you low production value content. You got to understand this part. I'm sure you guys know this, which is low quality, pr low, 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 low production value, right? You can't spend a lot of money to produce content. So get a guy in, get a guy in house, use a DSLR, use a phone, use a few things for audio. We go around to as many properties as we can. We do little things, right? Like, you know, we go to the kitchen and say, you know, this is... The place where you cook you fact in fact cook something there maybe cut something there you show people something a little bit more than what everyone else is showing everyone in this game right now in the real estate business you know what they're doing everyone's doing the same thing they're going around and showing the rooms and showing the washroom showing the door now that's easy we got to go a bit more than that we got to go stay there live there sleep over wake up cook something show people the real thing now, that's just one side of it. For me, when I start thinking about it, I can tell you 10 more ways in which content can be done for properties. Again, we can't be spending too much money on this. You can't hire a major company and they're going to give you a big bill. Now you're going to be thinking, oh, right, this is crazy. Are we going to be spending that much money in producing the content? No, you don't spend money in producing the content. Instead, you spend that money on your sponsored ads. All right, and that's powerful. You produce more content, you produce more content. Producing this has to be done on a daily basis. In my opinion, for a big company as, as, as you guys, you guys are massive. I've seen you guys in many places. Can be doing way a lot more things, all right? So these two elements, it plays a big role, right? And that's just one element. There's so much more to content marketing. We could go on Instagram. There's a lot that can be done there on Facebook. We need to be everywhere. You can't be in one place. You've got to uh, use this strategy of being everywhere. People see you everywhere. They go on the road. They're driving. Hey, these guys are here. I pull my phone up. Ah, I'm on TikTok. Hey, these guys are here. And I go on Instagram. Holy, holy moly, they're here. You know, 
when a person keeps seeing the same thing again and again without them knowing, when they make the purchase decision, this is the beautiful part. Remember this, okay? When they make the purchase decision, they think of companies who they can go to to buy. Automatically, your company's name will come on top of their mind when they need it. Of course, there are people who don't need to buy. They don't have the money to buy. For them, it's not relevant. But when the right client, the right person, he thinks about it, your company's name will be automatically suggested. It will come on top of his mind. And that is when he's going to make that decision. And this is going to be, in my humble opinion, a game changer. Well, there's so much more strategy we can talk about. Let us know. I'd love to take a meeting with you guys and come and talk to you in detail.